On October 17, 2024, the UK government announced its most extensive sanctions package to date, targeting a network of Russian oil and gas tankers linked to President Vladimir Putin's so-called shadow fleet. The move, which aims to significantly disrupt Russia's ability to fund its ongoing military operations in Ukraine, adds 18 oil tankers and four liquefied natural gas LNG carriers to the sanctions list. This latest round of sanctions marks the largest single action against Russia's maritime fleet, bringing the total number of sanction vessels to 43. The Shadow Fleet comprises a group of oil tankers and LNG carriers operating under complex ownership structures, often managed by non-Western jurisdictions, allowing them to circumvent international sanctions. These vessels have been crucial in maintaining Russia's oil exports, a major revenue source for the country's economy and military operations. By avoiding sanctions, the fleet has allowed Moscow to continue selling oil globally, despite the financial penalties aimed at crippling its resources. The UK's sanctions are specifically designed to halt the flow of Russian oil, which has been instrumental in funding Russia's war efforts in Ukraine. The newly sanctioned ships will be barred from British ports and services, effectively shutting them off from one of the world's largest maritime trading hubs. These sanctions come on the heels of the UK's broader effort to target the financial lifelines that sustain Russia's war economy. This move aligns with a wider international coalition. The United States, Canada, and several European nations have pledged support for the UK's Call to Action initiative, which now boasts 47 signatories. First announced by Prime Minister Keir Starmer in July 2024, the initiative calls for coordinated action to address the Shadow Fleet's violations of international safety standards and the environmental risks it poses. These vessels are often poorly maintained, heightening the risk of oil spills and other maritime disasters. UK Foreign Secretary David Lammy highlighted the importance of disrupting Russia's financial mechanisms, emphasizing that the Shadow Fleet not only threatens maritime safety but also poses a danger to the global economy. By removing these vessels from the international trading system, the UK and its allies are working to choke off Russia's access to critical funds, which are being used to finance its military aggression. In response to the latest sanctions, Russia's state-controlled shipping giant, Sofcomflot, has been scrambling to evade penalties. The company has been renaming and reassigning its vessels in an attempt to dodge the restrictions. Despite these efforts, many of these ships have been left idling in international waters, unable to unload their cargo or generate revenue. This is a significant blow to Russia's energy sector, which has already been under strain due to the war in Ukraine. Gazprom, Russia's flagship energy company, reported a staggering $6.9 billion net loss in 2023, marking its first deficit in over two decades. The Shadow Fleet sanctions are a continuation of broader efforts to undermine Russia's energy exports, further disrupting its already struggling energy industry. The latest sanctions package is part of an ongoing international effort to cripple Russia's economy, which has been struggling under the weight of over $400 billion in blocked assets and revenues since the start of the war. By targeting key players in Russia's oil and gas sectors, including companies like Sofcomflot and Ruskas Dobika JSC, these sanctions aim to limit Russia's capacity to generate revenue from its energy exports, which are critical to sustaining its war efforts. Despite the Russian government's attempts to evade sanctions through complex management systems and by rerouting its trade to non-Western nations, the international community's united front is proving effective in tightening the noose around Russia's economy. The UK's expansion of sanctions targeting Russia's shadow fleet is a pivotal moment in the ongoing effort to weaken President Putin's ability to fund his war in Ukraine. These sanctions, backed by an international coalition including the US and Canada, are designed to disrupt Russia's illicit oil trade, which has been a lifeline for its economy and military. As the sanctions begin to take effect, Russia's energy sector will face mounting challenges, further escalating the economic strain the country is experiencing. The Shadow Fleet, once a major player in global oil transport, is now becoming a significant vulnerability for Russia's maritime and energy industries.